I am in the southeastern part of Utah right now, and that means there are ancient Puebloan ruins absolutely everywhere. And since I'm traveling, I have pretty much unlimited time to be able to check these out. And I think I'd be stupid if I didn't go check them out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm in an area called Grand Gulch right now. This place is chuck full of the best ruins down here. So I'm gonna go on one of two hikes. One hike has a really, really, really cool ruin and it's called Moon House. But the problem is, is there's only 20 permits allowed a day to go on it. And well, it has to be over the counter. So right now I am at the Rangers Field Station. There it is. I slept in the parking lot last night. That way I can come here first thing in the morning and get myself a permit. If that one's full, then I can go do another hike that's called Bullet Canyon and Shrieks Canyon. And there are a ton of really cool uh, ruins along that whole way. So either one's gonna have really cool ruins. One is just better than the other. And also the first one's five miles, the moon house. The second one, Bullet Canyon, is more like 13 or 14 miles. So it would be a very, very, very long day. I'm gonna head over to the field station Well, I suppose that means it's closed for the season. <laughs> Gosh dang it. I looked it up and it said it was open before I came. That's a bunch of... <laughs> said it was open. That pisses me off. I guess I'll have to hook up Starlink and see if I can get a permit. We're gonna drive up the hill a little bit. See if we can't get service. That way I don't have to hook up Starlink because I don't really want to hook it up and my batteries are already kind of low today. And as you can tell, the sky is cloudy. So let's hope that there is data. Well, I certainly am not getting data anytime soon out here. So I guess that means I'm hooking up Starlink for like five minutes. So I got service and Basically, um, that paper where it said it was closed, it said all permits you can buy online now. So I looked up the Moon House permits and it says you can only get them in person. You can't get them in person, it's closed for the season. Like, really? Ugh, okay, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just gonna go hike it because there's nobody else out here anyways and I can't get a permit because of them. So it's all messed up. That's not my fault. I'm gonna go hike it and enjoy myself. Yeah. All right, so I've got about a 34 minute drive and part of this says it's on a dirt road, so we'll see. I actually did end up buying a day permit. That way at least I have, someone knows I'm out here and there's a permit around. I don't know. I got a day permit, that's all you need to know. Okie dokie. The journey begins. Oh, that's not bad. That's super cheap. I am finally on the trail hiking there. It's like a five mile trail, so I should be there not too soon. Holy, holy cow. Look at that. There it is. <laughs> That's actually super cool. Dang, man. There's another one right there. And it looks like there's some more right there, too. Huh. Wow. I'm going to take you on a tour of this place. So just sit back and relax and enjoy the show because this is one of a kind.
crazy you're allowed to come into this one. Look at the paint job, it's cool. These people must have been a lot smaller than me. Wow. Look at this, dude. That wood is a thousand years old. Crazy. Look at all the ancient corn. I still love this. Look at that. Oh, the whole wall's painted around. That wood is a thousand years old. Crazy. Horn. Well, that was absolutely incredible going inside this big one. That was so cool. But there's still some more over here this way around the corner. And there's some more this way. So I'm going to go explore all these too. Ooh. Man. Look at all the wood. That is so cool. Look at
like how they patched this together. A bunch of wood. It's really cool. All right, time to walk over here. Oh, that's cool. This place is honestly so cool. Wow. There's just so much. And they're so well preserved. This is just crazy. Wow. All right. I think the plan for the rest of the day, if I have enough time by the time I get back to the van and back to the main road, is we'll try to go check out some more ruins in another canyon. They're supposed to be really cool. It's supposed to be a jail. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it actually isn't. But it's what it's supposed to be. So if I have time, once we get to back to the van, then yeah, we'll go check it out. Should be really cool. Looks cool. So I will see you at the van. It turned into a nice day and I have pants on. I need shorts. So right now it is 1248. So I think there is time to go to the other ruins, but I'll have to do some research and double check. But that's the plan for right now the ruins right after lunch okay we are here and it is going to be about an eight mile hike round trip i think there is roughly very roughly four miles and there's two ruins one is called one is called jailhouse ruin and the other is called perfect kia ruin so kiva kiva i am starting this job at I'm starting this hike at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, so that's going to end up probably being a late day. So I'm kind of trying to go a little bit faster. <clears throat> it gets dark about pitch black at about 6.30. These places creep me out with all the skinwalker stuff. <laughs> Which might be kind of silly, but I don't know. But I don't need to test that out, man. No reason to test that out. Hey, I found one. <laughs> That's just by chance I happened to look up. <laughs> oh wow. Only way you can get in this one is from the top. I can't see in there so... That video is going to be my only way of knowing what's in there. <laughs> Woo! It's windy! <laughs> but look at that! That's cool. It's on an isolated rock so I can't get over to it. It 
definitely had to have a giant ladder to get up there. That's cool. On to the next one though. That was just a surprise one. I didn't know that was there. This is an absolutely gorgeous canyon. And I lied. I actually did not leave at one o'clock. It was a little bit after two. I don't know why I thought it was one. So I have less time than I thought. But I am probably within a mile away. And it's been about an hour and 10 minutes. Meaning I'm probably gonna get four miles in an hour and 20 minutes or so. <laughs> I've been running down the trail. It's helped because it's downhill. If, on the way back up, it's gonna take me a little more time. <laughs> okay, I will see you there. Whew. We have arrived. I just did 4.1 miles in an hour and 20 minutes. Dude, I'm so tired. Oh my goodness. I ran most of that. Okay, let's explore some ruins. Oh, wow. Look at all these. Oh. They used to grind up their corn like that. Dang, that's cool. There's some corn. There's some corn. I wonder if they burnt that or if we did. <laughs> okay, look at how crazy this is. So this is the ceiling inside of this one. Look, at, they still have their freaking gourd tire, their ties. Dang, man. So those ties are made from yucca from like a thousand years ago. <laughs> that is so crazy. So, so crazy, man. Look at this thing. Pristine condition. <laughs> that is something else. Woo. Oh, wow. An old bone. So this, the name of this one is called Perfect Kiva. And the Kiva is where they have their ceremonies down in the ground. And all of these have said, do not enter them. They have little signs like, uh, just like that. <laughs> but this one doesn't have it. So that might mean I'm going in. <laughs> oh, look, they've reconstructed it. That's why it's in such good condition. And they have bolts. Yeah, man. That means we're going down. <laughs> what? This is kind of creepy, not gonna lie, but this is really, really cool. <laughs> Look how they charred all of this so much. Hmm. This place is cool. This is worth coming. But I'm gonna boogie over to the next one now before it gets dark. <laughs> this one is called Jailhouse Ruin. 
creepy. Let's go up to it. Weird looking rocks. I believe that's why they call it jailhouse right there. <laughs> Wonder if it's actually a jail. And there's the second layer. I don't think I can get up to those ones. Definitely not actually. <laughs> Crazy. Kind of cool. Man, if that was a jail, I feel bad for those guys. Jeez. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Interesting, man. It's pretty cool. Wish I could get up there, but it's too tall. I'm gonna have myself a quick snack and then I don't have much sunlight left so I'm gonna boogie it back and just get back because ugh, I don't know why but I don't like the thought of being in the canyon in the dark very much it just does not seem that appealing overall definitely worth the hike down here but I'm probably gonna get back when it's dark out my well, guess is it's gonna take me like two hours or more to get out that puts me about six o'clock which is when it starts to get dark so i'm gonna get the heck out of here there's not much to film while i'm going up so i'll just see you at the van <laughs> mm. uh, i'm so tired oh. half miles three hours 15 minutes hmm i hope you enjoyed that <laughs> it was fun it was worth it dude i am so tired Ugh. i got back to the van i just like pulled over off the side of the road pretty much it's a whole camping area from but from where i was i pulled off the side of the road had some dinner and now i'm just sitting here and i'm so tired <laughs> that hike overall today between the two of them it was 13 ish miles somewhere in there between 12 and 14 miles i'll say 13 <laughs> but you know that feeling when you're hiking like towards the end of the hike and you're like it feels like your joints just hurt i was at that point oh i just <laughs> i had had enough and I was stressed out because I didn't want to be in that canyon in the dark, man. I used to work with co-workers who would talk about uh, skinwalkers and stuff in these canyons. Gee, I didn't want to be in there. It was freaking me out. I think the moon house was probably my favorite ruin. The first ruin I went to. It was so cool because like there was the guarding wall and then all the house houses behind it. And like the space in between. That was really cool. That was probably my favorite ruin I've seen like at all and that was really cool next up after this i'm gonna be heading towards gooseneck state park and muley point which is overlooking like the whole valley and the san juan river it's kind of like a mini grand canyon i've never been but i talked to an old couple a few days ago who were heading that way and they had been there before and they said it was like one of the best views out here or that they've seen which is Sounds good. I looked on iOverlander if there's campsites near the edge, and I'm like 50% sure, 50% that there are camp, like I can find a place to camp right on the edge overlooking the valley. So that's gonna be the goal for the next video is I'm gonna try to find a campsite and camp right on the edge and overlook that, that big valley. I think that'd be so cool. If you'd like to see that, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. 
That way you can follow along and see my adventures, see me camp out on that point. Yeah, I think that's going to wrap up the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing those ruins. I know not a lot of people get the chance to see them, so hopefully that gave you the chance to not see them in person, but get a pretty good idea of what they look like. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.